Hello and welcome to another episode of Running with Benny. We are now well and truly on our way to Western Australia, but we did one last stop off in South Australia and stayed at Marion Bay, which was a lovely caravan park right on the beach. Next morning, we headed off to tick off another bucket list adventure, which was a stop off at Lake McDonald. Here is the road heading in there, not too shabby at all, an easy drive for any vehicle. And here, here we are at Lake McDonald. It's not as pink as what I've seen in a lot of people's photos. Um, it, it does change, it just depends on conditions. It does look more pink from the sky um, a little bit later on. When you're standing at ground level, it doesn't look too pink at all, but um, I found it to be more of a salmon kind of a colour, um, like a clay kind of a colour, and the other side wasn't as blue as I've seen in other images either, but it was still spectacular, quite a sight to see and well worth a visit. So glad we dropped in and we got some, look how much better it looks from the sky. It does look a bit more blue and a, and a bit more salmon in colour. I wouldn't call it pink, not at this stage, but it was still beautiful, great aerial photography. I don't know which one I'll choose to go on my wall, I love them all. We're having such wonderful adventures, South Australia was absolutely beautiful. Here's me and my little Benny boy. My little offsider, my little sidekick. Just a few aerials. And then we made it. We're on the Nullarbor. Oh, I've been thinking about this for so long. We're finally crossing the Nullarbor. This is the only place I've seen a sign where there could be camels crossing. And now our night on the Nullarbor was spent on Thunder Cliffs. Check this out, guys. No, I did not sleep a wink, but it was absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know if you just heard that vehicle drive past as I'm doing this, but we are beach camping and there's a few four wheel drives going up and down. Check that out though, look at that. Isn't that just, I have no words, you know. Yeah, it was loud, the ocean and the wind. Looks like a cake with cream in the middle. But, um, a must to do if you get the opportunity please and you're crossing the Nullarbor do this stay on Bunda Cliffs it is such an experience that you just cannot miss our last night shot on um, Bunda Cliffs. Then we arrived in Esperance in Western Australia. Oh my goodness, this place is absolutely stunning. I remember asking a lady, a traveller, what was her most favourite place to visit in Australia. She had been everywhere and she said Esperance and if she was to settle somewhere it would be in Esperance. And I can see why. This coastline is absolutely stunning. The sand is so white, the waters are so blue, and just, oh, I don't know, the reef that, that hugs this beach, this coastline here, um, great swimming beach. And we had um, whales come right through our drone shot in a minute, which you will see, but um, yeah, this place took our breath away. It was absolutely stunning. We loved everything about Esperance. Um, the national parks, everything that this place has to offer will honestly take your breath away. It is, it is absolutely stunning.
After leaving 11 Mile Beach, we headed around the corner to visit Twilight Beach, which was equally as beautiful. But nothing compared to this. This is Cape Le Grand National Park, and we're looking right now at Lucky Bay. Oh my goodness. I have never seen a beach so, so beautiful, and I know I never will. Yes, there were kangaroos on the beach, which we got very lucky to see. I spoke to some campers that had been there for three weeks and they hadn't sighted them, but they come out for us on this morning. So I was beside myself. And look, the water. It is so blue, it is so clear. And the only footprints I could see were mine. Fancy that, you come to such a beautiful location and you virtually got it to yourself. There's the campground there in Cape Le Grand National Park. Um, it's not a free camp, but I, I, it's pretty cheap. We couldn't stay there because we have Benny. Um, I put him in the groomers this day so that we could come out and check out the National Park. Look at that. You will camp right on that beach if you are lucky enough to be able to stay in Cape Le Grand National Park there. Um, it's just some of the, the coastline right there in that national park. Then we come around to um, Hellfire Bay, this one is. And yeah, just beautiful. This whole national park area, I know I'll never see anything as beautiful as this. It is absolutely stunning. It is up there as um, one of Australia's most beautiful beaches. It has been rated as such and I can see why. Really, really, really beautiful. This is still Hellfire Bay, which we also had to ourselves. <laughs> Can you just believe that? Like, you're in the most beautiful peach beaches in Australia and you have it to yourselves. It's just amazing. It was a bit too chilly for me to swim, but I was so grateful to be able to be there. What an experience. Yeah, I was pretty happy. <laughs> And that's just another shot looking back to Hellfire Bay. There we go. How gorgeous is that? Beautiful. So now we're at Wharton's Beach. Um, we came out here the following day. Uh, there's Mark getting a sneaky of me from the drone. And once again, equally as spectacular. Um, yeah, and we had it all to ourselves. Look, the white sand again, those beautiful turquoise waters. The clarity, how clear it is. Like you can see anything and everything. Um, yeah, so yeah, we had the beach to ourselves. Here we are having a little cruise along along the beach and um, just enjoying the environment we were in. Benny absolutely loved it as well. He got to be off leash. Um, we had some ball time with him. Um, no one else around, no fear of any other dogs. So um, yeah, he loves it when he's able to do that. But look at this. That really is Western Australia. You, are, you have already blown our minds. This is, I've, I've never seen such magnificent beaches in my life. Um, I doubt that I ever will. <clears throat> Can't get enough of it. Just stunning.
And then I've come across this quote for you. To travel is to make a journey into yourself. And that concludes another video, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, if you like our videos, please give us a like and subscribe and join us again next time. Thank you. See ya.